Well, hello, it's Bears back. Got a lock for you today. It's number 85 by Daz Evers. Um, it's a little uh, arrow cylinder. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get her pinned up and try to get her picked. Okay. Usually I cut the video to do this part, but yeah, what the heck. Sits in there solid. It's mummy keys, so we just have to do it this way. Um, I'm going to use a uh, Daz Evers pick on this one, I think. Uh, I think I'll use the Panglewood. Awesome pick, man. I gotta tell you. So, let's give it a try. Since these are kind of like Schlage keyways. Um, I'm getting lots of crunch and movement. Um, ooh, that was a nice, nice bunch of movement there. Uh, some counter here. Uh-oh, it's not finishing up, so I may have overset that. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, that's open. That's an open, folks. Wow, thought I overset it and went back and tick a little, little bit and she's open. Awesome pick. Ah, uh, man, that was fantastic. Um, ooh, I'm in shock. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I found with these uh, arrows, because I've, I've bought a lot of these, that these little boogers right here are better than anything else if you can get them just on that tip of that clip. Oh, yep, pops it right off of there. Uh, get my Bobby Key's spinning tray out here. And Ooh. Hey, turn it back a little bit. We'll shim that bad boy. Wow. Um, here we go, folks. Woohoo! Wow, look at that pin there. There, that one's deep. Number one, number two, overset trap. Number three. These are some awesome pins, man. Number four. Uh, I'm going to have to look at that a little closer to see how that actually sets in there. Number five and number six. Uh, that away. Oh, uh, where's my. This one I'm not sure of. Okay, that of a direction. Like that. Wow, these are some awesome pins. I don't know how I managed to pick that that fast. Uh, 
I got that. Huh. Well, let's see if we can just keep twisting it now. It's out of the way, so. Oh, there it is. Okay. Shim's out. Um, get some extra light here. My little click on light. I love that little light. That is so cool. It helps so much. Um, let's see. As a standard looks like in number one. Standard looks like in number two. Interesting. Standard in three. Ah, serrated in four. Oh, shoot. I didn't see how that one popped up. Knew I should have went in the back on that one. Dang it. It's going to be pissing me off. I hope I got it on tape, uh, on video, that I could actually see what it did. Gosh darn it. And standard. I should have went in the back for that one. Doggone it. Daz, I may have to have you tell me which way that went in. So, okay, let's start here. And we have threading in four and undercutting in five on the plug. And where's my light? Um... I'm not seeing any modifications at all in the top. Um, so it looks like a standard standard top. Uh, let me show you the pins. I am I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have Daz, tell me how he thinks this went in, I'm, or I'm going to look at this video and see how it sprung out of there. But I would almost guess that he kind of had it in that direction. And so, here's our bottom pins. It's real work on these pins, they're awesome. And a bunch of standards, and then just the only two on top is these two serrated multi-serrated this kind of spooled so I kinda think that's the way it went in but Daz you can let me know um, how that worked and I'm thinking the reason I'm thinking that is because if we take the bottom pin in number five which is undercut have a nice undercut there if you were to use this spool, okay, focus. You were to put that spool in there, that would more or less hang up really well right in here. See, it sits way down in there, so that would really hang up a lot better right there. So that's why I'm thinking that's the way that was in. Okay, well, that's what we have for. Daz Evers number 85. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, stay legal and have fun, guys. Bye.